24% permanent raise to Social Security checks. How to lock it in. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to discuss the details of how to lock in a permanent 24% raise to Social Security checks above and beyond the annual cost of living adjustment or COLA raise. And this would also be lasting for the rest of your life. Sounds pretty awesome, right? I totally agree. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. Details. Really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm right here for you, right by your side every single day to help you out in any way that I possibly can by bringing you the latest updates and talking through all the details with all the bills, package, and proposals, announcements out of lawmakers, announcements out of the administration. A lot of things are happening and of course, talking through all the details of Social Security and your monthly checks. A lot of things out there right now. I'm here for you. No matter what, please subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about all the details of a 24% permanent raise to benefits and how to lock this in for millions upon millions of beneficiaries. So as of right now, as I've talked about before in other videos, there's about 70 million people out there right now who are receiving benefits from the Social Security Administration under all of these different programs that are out there, which by the way, get this, I've said this before in other videos as well, on a daily basis, there's about 10,000 people becoming eligible for Social Security retirement benefits. That's a lot, right? That is a lot of people, 10,000 people a day, not a week, not a month, a day. That's a lot, right? So anyway, let me talk you through the details about this. So there's a few different aspects that we need to understand, which by the way, let me throw this out there really fast as well. No, this is nothing new here. No, this is not something that needs to be passed by Congress. No, this is not a proposal. It is not something that is speculation. This is the real deal. This is something that's already out there. This is one of the provisions of Social Security that's already in place, okay? So we're not sitting here waiting to twiddle our thumbs, waiting for Congress to pass something this is already out there for millions of beneficiaries that you can take advantage of if this is your, if this is your situation, okay? So I want to make that very clear because again, I know here on the channel, we do talk a lot about proposals and bills, packages, pro, you know, proposals and speculation, all kinds of stuff like that. But this is not, this is totally right there out there for everybody, okay? Anyway, all right, so the few things we need to understand. First off, this isn't reference to Social Security Retirement Benefits. This is not for SSDI. This is not for SSI, Social Security Retirement Benefits, okay? All right, here's what it comes down to. We need to know a couple things. First off, we need to understand what is your full retirement age, okay? All right, so that is like, you know, it's pretty important to understand what that is. Now, you probably understand what that is. It's basically anywhere between the ages of 66 and 67, uh, somewhere in that range, provided you were born, you know, 1960 or essentially earlier than that would be in that range. Anybody born after 1960 or 1960 or later, your full retirement age is the age of 67, okay? All right, so anyway, we need to understand that first. Now, here's what it comes down to. There's kind of a sliding scale here, okay? So you can claim benefits at the age of 62 if you want to, that's fine, but that'll actually undergo a reduction to monthly benefits. You can wait until your full retirement age where there's no reduction and there's no gain, you just get your benefit, okay? But if you wait until after your full retirement age, this is where the gravy train the gravy train starts going down the tracks. Okay, this is where you can get pretty good, uh, pretty big benefits relatively quickly added onto your benefit and up to a 24% increase. Now this is massive, and again. This is not the COLA. In fact, the COLA is above and beyond this, okay? The COLA would be on top of this raise as well. So you could really compound this thing to get some massive benefits, you know, an increase pretty rapidly here. And this would be for the rest of your life as well. All right, so here's what it comes down to. When you hit your full retirement age, you have a couple options. Number one would be you could claim your benefit if you want to. Number two would be you could wait, okay? So these are a couple options. Now, again, obviously, like I said before, you can claim your benefits as early as 62. However, we're talking about your full retirement age here. So when you hit your FRA, full retirement age, like I said, you can claim your benefits. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Nothing wrong with claiming at 62. You just gotta understand your situation. However, if you hit your full retirement age and you decide I'm going to wait a little bit longer, here is where the gravy starts to flow, okay? All right, so here's what happens. For every one month that you delay claiming your benefits after your full retirement age, your benefits will continue to increase at a pace of 0.667% or two thirds of 1% for every one month that you delay benefits after your full retirement age. Now get this, you might think of that and think, 
two thirds of one percent, point six six seven percent. That's not very much. It actually is quite a bit. That's on a monthly basis, okay? So if you were to delay benefits by just six months, you would lock in a 4% raise. If you delayed your benefits by a full year, so you hit your full retirement age and you delay for one full year, 12 months, you've increased your benefits by 8%, okay? Remember, the COLA is above and beyond that as well. That is just the incentive for delaying your benefits, 8%. That's pretty big. Now get this, let's just say that you delay your benefits for two years after your full retirement age. And again, I'm not here to advise anybody what to do, I'm just simply here to give you the information so you can understand all of these aspects of social security because it's pretty complicated stuff, right? But if you delayed your benefit by two full years, 24 months, get, what's, get, get this, your benefits have now increased by 16%. And again, the COLA on top of that, okay? Now get this, if you waited until the age of 70 or three full years, assuming your full retirement age is the age of 67, you have now locked in a 24% permanent increase to your monthly benefits for the rest of your life. And again, the COLA will be on top of that, okay? 24% increase is massive, that is huge. And remember, this is compounded you know, for many years. So a, let's just say this much, okay? Let me talk through the COLA for just a second to kind of illustrate the compounding effect, okay? Let's just say that you, um, at your full retirement age, we're going to be getting a $1,000 benefit, okay? Let's just say that the annual COLA, just for all practical purposes, is 3% every year for the rest of your life. Now, obviously, that's not how it works. I'm just giving this as an example, okay? A 3% COLA on a $1,000 monthly benefit would be $30 more per month. Not bad, it's $360 a year for the first year, and then obviously, it'd be a little bit more than that, uh, for the following years, if it were 3% every single year, just because it's now it's 3% on $1,030 a month. Kind of makes sense? Anyway, but get this. Let's just say that your $1,000 benefit has now ballooned up to $1,240 a month because you delayed until the age of 70, locking in that 24%, okay? However, now get this. A 3% COLA on top of that. I should have ran the math before I made this video. I, you know... I, I'm pretty good at math, but I'm going to be honest with you right now. Um, what is the math on that? It's like $36, I think. Yeah, I think it's about $36, give or take a little bit, but it's about $36. I'm just kind of running the math in my head right now. Okay, so it's about $36 the raise. So remember, your $1,000 benefit uh, at your full retirement age has now gone up, if you waited till the age of 70, to $1,240, and assuming a 3% COLA, now you're looking at a $36 raise, okay? You see how that compounds? Now remember, the following year, assuming another 3% COLA would be 3% on top of $1,240 plus the $36 COLA from this previous year, now another 3% on top of that, right? So now you're calculating a 3% increase on $1,276. Kind of see what I'm saying here? So it compounds very rapidly. It might start out a little bit slow, but the further that you move out, you know, later on in your life, you know, five years, 10 years, you know, something like that, now it has compounded significantly on top of that, if that kind of makes sense, right? So my point is, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. I'm not here to advise anybody because I don't know your situation. Everybody's situation is very different, but this is a very tempting thing. If you wanted to delay your benefits after your full retirement age, and remember, you don't need to wait three years either. You could wait three months. You could wait six months. You could wait nine months, a year, 12 months, 18. Well, obviously a year and 12 months is you know the same. Uh, or you could wait 18 months. You could wait 19 months. It literally doesn't matter. You can wait up to the age of 70. However, there is no... Uh, there's no benefit to waiting after the age of 70 because this in this 0.667% increase no longer continues to accrue after the age of 70. It just stops there. They say, okay, we're done. 70, that's it. Okay, we're not adding more incremental changes and increases to your benefits on a monthly basis after the age of 70. So there's no point in waiting after that. Again, if you want to, by all means, go for it, but there's really no financial gain to doing that. So at the age of 70, it's best to just kind of, you know, maybe think about grabbing your benefits. Anyway, this is what I want to bring to your attention. Pretty cool stuff. It's a nice little incentive out there if you're in the position where, you know, you're at your full retirement age and thinking, I can maybe go a little bit longer without my benefit. I've got a little savings here, um, you know, stashed up. Maybe I have a little bit of investment income, maybe some dividend income, you know, something like that. Maybe you sold a house and moved into something smaller and you have a little bit of cash from that. I don't know, it's very different for everybody. But I'm just saying, if you're in that situation, you might wanna run the numbers on that 
You also want to take into things like what we don't want to talk about, which is life expectancy. Now, obviously, that is very different for everybody, but based on a variety of factors, we could maybe calculate and say, hey, I have a pretty good chance of living for another 25, 30 years or something like that. If that were the case, you know, you got to run all the options. You got to run all the numbers here to see if this would be a best option for you. Again, I don't know what everybody's situation is, but this is just an option out there, something you could consider if you'd like. Anyway, hope this one helps you out. Of course, I'll be here for you every way that I possibly can be. Leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Otherwise, subscribe right down below the video with that big old button. Make sure to hit that as well. Share this one with your friends, family, social media, if you know somebody in this situation. And of course, go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care. Hope this one helps you. And I'll catch you again later in the next video.